today. Stay what? thirsty, my friend. Yeah. What's cooking here? Meanwhile, the Sioux crew is back on yeah. Weather Channel exclusive. Yeah, but you've got something for me, huh? Meteorologist Mike Seidel for week one of his NFL cookoff kickoff coverage. Look at that food I see cookout uh, from Chicago. Tomorrow Mike will be in Philly as the Eagles host the Baltimore Ravens. The fun starts tomorrow morning at 8 Eastern, right here on the Weather Channel. We want to check out now the forecast for some of tomorrow's big games, including that one that Mike will be at. That's Philly at, uh, at Philly playing the Ravens there. And if I advance, I could uh, maybe say that a little better. 72 degrees and partly cloudy skies looks good for kickoff there. And also another big game, the Lions at the San Francisco 49ers, 64 degrees at game time at 5.20 p.m. Pacific. One more real quick we have for you is Dallas at Seattle, and we're looking good there at 71. Today we also saw some great college games. Heather, over to you. All right, thank you so much, Julie. And, you know, Julie, what I admire so much about you is that is such a rare thing for you to kind of stumble because you are always so, such a smooth talker. Now, I, I, my normal is stumbling. Well, we take a look here at some of the conditions that we are following in the days ahead as we check out the next several days. And, you know, we are finding here areas from Missouri southward across Texas. Tonight, picking up some of that rainfall. As we go into tomorrow, you'll find that we still are watching some rain. And this rain is going to be spreading, and we'll find more of this sliding eastward as we move through time. So Monday, you're going to see more of that spreading to the east. In the meantime, tomorrow, Sunday, we've got 84 in Minneapolis, 80 in Chicago. These areas running above average by about 5 to 10 degrees. But this is going to change as we find a front that will be slicing through the Midwest. It is going to bring in some of that cooler air. Out ahead of it, though, you can see also bring in rain. And flooding is going to be a concern along with some heavy rainfall as we monitor areas to the east in the days ahead. We'll find that cool down first comes to Minneapolis, and then we'll be watching areas like Chicago. So look by Tuesday. 63 Minneapolis, 64 is Chicago, Kansas City, 66. So a lot of that fall air is starting to move in. Now you will warm back up a bit. You can see the 70s returning to some of the central areas, but when you do that, we'll still be watching some of the cooler air moving eastward. And once our front slides off, we're still going to have some of the leftovers, shall we say, some of that energy kind of rotating around. It doesn't have a lot of moisture to work with, but enough that it's going to bring some of these showers here to the Midwest and the Great Lakes. And again, notice too, uh, another punch of that cooler air as we drop back into the lower 60s in Minneapolis and Chicago as well. You'll be finding those temperatures in the 60s. So, of course, uh, a week from today, we are officially in autumn. So, Julie, I guess uh, Mother Nature wants to kind of get in there a little early. Yeah, a little bit of a head start. Yeah. Well, thank you, Heather. Trash and debris, a growing problem plaguing our oceans and beaches. And today, if you didn't know, it is International Coastal Cleanup Day. So people all around the world are hitting the beach in hopes of making a difference. Here are some of the participants explaining why they're working hard this weekend. The International Coastal Cleanup is a remarkable global effort where individual actions taken collectively have huge implications for the health of our ocean. And, and what's so unique about this is simultaneously while we're out here, hundreds of thousands of people around the world in more than 100 countries are doing exactly the same thing. Here's a Skype from Dublin, Ireland is volunteer coordinator Annabelle Fitzgerald. We have 285 groups around the country that actually take part in cleanups all year round. A lot of people in Ireland would make their living from the coast um, and so it is a very important resource for us. We want to make sure that we can help uh, clear the pollution from the water by starting from the surface area and picking up a little trash that could possibly get to the water. We never uh, have a problem finding trash. Um, you know, volunteers always come out and there's always enough trash to go around. trash to go around. Yeah, millions and millions of, I think, cigarette butts we learned the last yeah, hour. Yeah, and it's plastic bags too, so don't use plastic, use paper. Our, 